Hi there, this is Tara Jacoby with Keller Williams Realty and today we're going to look at the Market Insider that's part of the website for on my website which is realestateroguevalley.com. It is a fantastic tool that hardly ever gets used and it has so many benefits to it that I wanted to review it today and show you all the, the pluses and minuses and things that you can really use on it. First of all, you're going to have the market analysis or market trends and this is of course for the east side of Medford, 970. 7504. It's going to give you the median home prices and uh, the median. So these are the listing prices and this is the sold pricing. Okay. So you can see obviously there's, there's a lot of difference many times between the listing price and what they actually end up selling for. So of course the more important number would be the sold number. This is going to go by month. And really the most important thing, for instance, right down here, it'll tell you what the increase is over month over month. However, the more uh, accurate information is going to be the long term. So here you've got almost a year. You really want to look at that year uh, information. And really you want to take a look at where it starts on the, on the graph and where it ends on the graph. And ignoring so much these little blips, which have a lot to do with what time of year it is and uh, what's going on. And you want to more so look at making sure that the trend between these two numbers, if you had an invisible line, you can draw one that would go straight across and it would continue to go up as opposed to down. If you have sustainable downs and you'd end up you know, down here, that would be in a declining market. But we are in an appreciating market and have been for the last few years. Hallelujah to all of us who survived the uh, horrors of the last <laughs> years before that. Um, also, so this is showing you what the June drop is month over month. Keep in mind that this is based off of a very small snapshot of homes. We are different, much different than many of the other areas or marketplaces in the nation we, where we only have currently in the zip code 322 active homes. It's not enough to give you that accurate picture of um, month over month information because it's so skewed by just a few homes coming on or off the market. So keep that in mind that it's all relative to our very small community area. Okay, another thing to note here is that distressed listings used to be a huge part of our inventory. In fact, at one point, they were up to 50 and 60% of what the market was in our area. They're down to 0.9%. So even though people still throw around the terms foreclosure and short sale, you do hear about them a lot, and they are still out there. <clears throat> Excuse me, they are not as prevalent as they were just a few years back. Okay, <clears throat> you can use this area to search on homes just like you would if you were um, looking for homes for sale, if you want to see solds or actives in uh, and see what they're actually going for, you can definitely look at that. Or there's this type of, of setup like this where it's a list. Okay, and then you can see more homes if you want to from there. But what I really want to show you is more these buttons that are up here. So for instance, then you can hop over and you can look at community information. <clears throat> this is going to give you the profile of the communities and where they are as far as their median income levels and your education levels and then also crime levels, which is always good things to check whenever you're considering a new neighborhood and you're not familiar with it. Weather risks, <laughs> earthquakes, I don't remember the last time I knew I had one around here, but yes, it's like it is a possibility, I suppose. And then the the additional statistics is always a good thing to be aware of. And then one of my favorite things on this website, especially if you're just new to the area, is this this map down here. This will show you if you choose not to just click on grocery stores, you can find out where the grocery stores are, or you can find out where the home stores are, appliance, electronics, all of the things that are listed here, and it'll show you on a map where they're located, which is really nice. You've got restaurants, all different kinds, healthcare services, places of worship, attractions, recreation. This is a fine, <laughs> fabulous map here that will give you everything. And then not only that, but they also tell you what each thing is, its exact address and phone number. So that's going to really help when you're moving to the area and you're not familiar at all with, with what's going on around you, get to know your neighborhood and um, you can do that off of here. Now, if you wanted to compare 
a neighborhood. We're going to go into that in a second. Right now, we're going to go to local schools. And this is all of the information on here. Be aware of if it says that it's not rated or not available. It's only because it comes from one uh, source. And we're going to find out what that source is. Hold on. Okay, so that source is actually greatschools.com. So that's where they're getting their information for it. Um, this is an ESD school. It's actually not part of the uh, normal public school system. And um, to find out more, you can always go to great schools and look them up. And that would be, um, oh, this is, sorry, back up for a second. Individual schools, if you're down here and looking at the map and you click around on each of them, you're going to have your website, phone number, all of the information, even the principal, the, the uh, grades that they actually did the scoring on. So keep in mind, they do they do scoring at certain ages. And if it's an elementary school or junior high school, more so you're going to get uh, more consistent uh, testing. Of course, in the uh, early, early years, they don't do the testing there. And then you get your ratio, teacher number of teachers, student to uh, teacher ratio. This is wonderful stuff to know when you're moving to an area and don't know the schools. Also here, they give you a parent rating, which is really nice to see all the different parent ratings and see which ones are most popular and have maybe the most amount of parent participation, which can really determine and help um, a school be a favorite in the neighborhood or in the community. So you can get all this information without even leaving the site. It's all right here. And then you can go to compare areas and say you wanted to compare the other Medford area, which is 9750. Thank you. And once you click on review report, you can go down the list basically. So here we go. We're comparing the two of them. Uh, moderate residential turnover, stable population, moderate residential turnover, and then everything on them. You've got all of this demographic information is here, and it goes down the line. Then you're looking at stability. Okay, so obviously it's a less expensive area over here than it is here. Percentage of distressed listings, eh, about the same. Okay, going down, school summaries. Okay, there are the number of schools, test scores, they don't show you right off the bat here, but this is a really good thing to say, um, you know, what it's like comparatively between the two schools. So here you have a 19 to 1 student ratio, 18 to 1 student ratio, talent and gifted, that's always something to look at, looks like they're about the same, number of schools in each area, and then it also says a uh, number of students in each. And then um, this is always a really good thing indicator right here below average. Of course, this one says unclassified and they've been around forever, but that's um, coming directly from the great school site. So uh, it may be something you want to go. If you're really concerned about schools, go to the greatschools.com and actually research the schools that are in this area so you can get a better idea of that. Median sales price median souls prices. So they're comparing all of the information that we had before right on down the line. Here's another good one to look at if you're trying to compare an area. Um, you can tell which ones are rented, how many owners are in each area. These are relatively about the same though, showing you that. Fair market rents are going to be a good indication, although I'll tell you right now that this is a little off a little off it's showing this being the same and it's not uh, 97504 is actually a higher rental area um, than 97501 household income and then all the way down the line to oh crime risk there's another one that's good okay and what types of crimes even they go into so that's really nice to see. And, and note this sidebar here. I love it that they give you this uh, sort of median. So you can see, okay, here, this is where this is, and this is where this is here. So you can tell where they are on both, both scales. And uh, then it actually goes into more demographic stuff, weather stuff, which I think they only said earthquakes were the biggest thing. And that is that. 
So great things. Um, insider tips are also another good one. It, it doesn't talk so much about the area as it does about uh, buying and selling. And it goes back a couple of months to the reports that were there a couple of months ago. So go ahead and take a look at any of those. If you have questions, um, let me know. Otherwise, have fun. Sign up on the Market Insider and enjoy the information. And again, my name is Tara Jacoby, and if you have any questions with buying or selling, I'm here to help.